Okay, we got ourselves a giant ghost troll. A turtle. Something over there. I bet you that is a portal. And I think I got the key to that. Uh, in fact, the last portal place in the other world also had ghost trolls. And it looks like that's how we can get... Maybe that's how we can get down over on the other side I was curious about the one time. Are we fat rolling now? No. I did that in a heavy load. Like, I want to I wanna get to a medium. Oh, no, I didn't. I had this on. I was... Okay, never mind. I just... I now realize it's because I had... Fair enough, me. We'll go back to... <laughs> Let's see if there was anything, anything different to say that I actually defeated the person. We are all utterly captivated by it is what binds. Nope, ain't got shit to say. Uh, ooh, that's a lot of runes. God damn, I literally had nothing. She gave 240,000. That is a lot. Well, let's head down over that way. I want to see what's... I don't know about taking the portal right away. But... Gone done teleported. Shut up. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yeah. This is a portal, and I got the thing for it, I think. I oh, hole, oh, hole, butthole. <laughs> Okay. <sighs> Imbued sword key has lost, was lost with use. And now we have a portal. Hmm, but where will it go? I don't know. And we'll check out in a second. I was, there, there's, there's the big bridge. I traveled that way. Dealt with all the pot throwers over there. And that was the thing I thought I was going to be trying to get into. How the shit do I get over there? Because there's obviously walkable land and places designed for us to go. <laughs> Torrent's head. I I don't see like, like I can't drop off that. That's that's not happening. 
I would need a spirity whatchama thing. I might be able to drop down right here. Which would get me down to that area. I don't see how I go from there to there. Just a grave glove wart. Don't think I can jump that. I'm going to try and muzzle get to the higher altitude, though. Nope, definitely can't, and I'm dead. Yeah. So we did just get something from her. Uh, she was one of the remembrances. Let's go see what that shit's about. Don't worry, my I'll see it to the end with you, if it please. So she, ah, I could get swords or her fancy magic balls. This spell, she's got Renala's twin moons. Now there's the moon spells that go, you know, where it's like you curl into a ball and it makes a moon and it follows you. And then there's uh, Ronnie's moon, which is like the dark moon. <laughs> but these... It's a pair of balls. And I do quite literally mean that. One is literally hanging lower than the other one. Ranala's twin moons. Where one's hanging just a little lower than the other is. <laughs> uh, and then we got these things. Ranala's twin blades, light great swords. FP cost 20 or 10 and 25. And they just have pure scaling across the fucking board. You basically need to just max all the things. Uh, we're going to go back to here. Not going to worry about those runes just yet. Let's get to see what the hell this thing is. Nice torch you got there, bud. What? Oh, guys could just stay there. I don't care. shield and a goat sheep sheep I guess that's more of just a sheep than a goat isn't it <clears throat> oh we are uh, got kicked off our steed Thou oh, shalt not evade there it is the flame of mesma didn't we already kill you America, behold, I have excised another, another cancer to thy joy. Uh huh. Why aren't you fucking? Why can't I move? Why can't I? Oh no. <sighs> Battery died and the game behold, didn't fucking tell me. I have excised. Thou shalt not evade the flame of Mesma. Yay. Fuck. Why does that do so much damage?
Fuck, how did I I hate that that like jump turn. Ooh, we got the flame skewer bullshit he's been using. My grace. And a key. Prayer room key. Well, where in the shit dick balls that gonna go? Let's take a look at this. Grants affinities and skills to armaments. This Asher War grants the armament flame art affinity and the following skill. Flame Skewer, Skill of Quelion, the Fire Knights, and Wreath Armament in Flame and assume a low stance before skewering the enemy in a single motion. Strong Attack unleashes a follow-up Flame Attack. It's the, it's the literal exact opposite of the skill I've been using. Uh, usable on medium and large armaments capable of thrusting. Which basically means pole arms, twin blades, and spears. Skidoo fragment, fuck yeah. Okay, got rid of that guy. I'm trying to think if there's anybody I would use that. Oh, and long swords. Straight swords, great swords, all probably can use that, that ability too. Because they can all do thrusting attacks. So good at thrusting. Uh, so that is the area we, we came to. And that right there is the dungeon. That crazy ass dungeon we went in is underneath us right here. What the fuck is the prayer room? I'm trying to think, did I run into something that had a prayer room? I don't know. Acquire material. Shadow Sunflower. Huh. Okay, so there's the area that I wanted to try to get into, and I have not figured out how to just yet. Like, if there was a little cave entrance there, I'd be like, aha, that's an exit. And then we use that to get there. But I'm not seeing one, and I'm not seeing how I could jump up there. I pretty much already know I can. I was down there earlier. <gasps> is this a? Uh, is this? Is this? Is this? Can I? Oh no! This was. This was something though. This almost looked like it was gonna be like a bridge I could drop, or a, a a ladder I could drop down. I might be able to drop down from here, though. I think this, yeah, I think this might be a safe drop location to get in there. And there's a site of grace right here. Ooh, a skidoo. Yep, 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 skidoo blessing. Number seven. Yeah, we're totally falling down. I'm finally getting inside this area. First off, futility. In short, could this be a pickle? <laughs> it's No, it's not a pickle. Fog Rift Fort. Try throwing. By way, try fire. Oh, yeah, there are a lot of fire things, huh? Item craft. Yeah.
Mesmer Soldier Gauntlet, Mesmer Soldier Greaves. Nope, 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 not over there. He better die from that fall. That is a bunch of people down there. And they are all protecting a singular chest. I think. Yep, that's a chest. Probably gonna go down there and find out it's just a fucking flower, some bullshit. Hello, large man. Oh, oh, don't lick me. Oh, bro. That's nasty. That's nasty. Fucking Garu's just shitting a fucking frog tongue at me, bro. I bet you if he hits me with it, it pulls me to him. Oh. Stop licking me, bruh. Okay, that tongue shit is fucked up, bro. That is... I just died to some guy magically creating a frog tongue and smack me in the face with it. Just so we're clear as to what just happened. Mother... Oh, there's a third guy here. I've always blown him up and never realized. you alive with all those things blowing up around you? And these pots suck compared to the other ones. God damn it. I kind of feel like they should have blown the whole fucking room up and he should have died from all of those. Hey, we got the soldier's axe. That's key. 
I'm not even gonna bother. I'll just make more later if I die again. Weapon used by the soldiers who serve Mesmer the Impaler. A steel axe worn from use. A favorite of those who lost themselves utterly in their Lord's War, capable of performing powerful charge attacks. Uh, war Cry. Give a War Cry and Rally Spear increases attack power while active strong attacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see what that, uh... That almost made it sound like it had a unique moveset for the, for the heavy attacks. And it doesn't. Oh, it does. Ooh, okay, hold on. So, initial heavy attack is... Wait, 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 hold on. Heavy attack, I'm not, I'm not holding the... Okay. Full charge heavy? That's all that is. I'm gonna do follow-up now. That is a unique follow-up. Wait, what? Full charge heavy. Let go. Yeah, okay. So when you do a full charge second heavy, you do a second follow-up heavy attack after. We're gonna go ahead and big boy this. Because I noticed he was getting stunned by that fire damage earlier. Alright, piece of shit. I'm two, I'm one handing it right now. I need to two-hand this thing. Oh my god, that was- oh, thank god. Thank god that non-dodge was still a heal. Oh, nice. Black Steel Great Shield. Fancy. There's people up there throwing shit. I don't know how I get up there. If you even can get up there. I can't a horse here. Mesmer fire grease. Like, it's so weird this is even set up. I mean, th think about it. There's no door. There's literally no place anybody could possibly enter here from. This is a fucking cliff edge, so it's not like someone could bust the door down and, a, and an army can roll in here. And all of this is set up as if a giant army is gonna have to try to come through here. Like, these are designed to stop horse charges. Who the fuck's horse charging this area? 
Ja. It's purple. Serpent flail. Okay, that's actually something unique. All right, that's cute. What does it do? Serpent flail. Ah, it comes with its own unique skill. A flail with coiled snakes for bludgeon heads. Fire roars within the snake's bodies, inflicting horrible burns. Some of Mesmer's army use these flails to burn horn scent to brand them with agony and fear. Unique skill, Flare, O Serpent. Ignite a flame inside the stink, temporarily empowering flame attacks. Once ignited, strong attacks and other moves that strike the ground will cause an explosion. Oh, fancy. Dex and Faith up the butt for that one. Damn. Okay. Well, so much for testing that out. All right. So we, we finally figured out how to get into this little thing here. And that makes me happy. That's good. I'm going to go here. And I'm going to work my way. Maybe get a sight of grace and see about this. I'm assuming if I go over this, I can get up here. This is a lower area, so I might be able to drop off around here to get down there. And maybe that'll send me through over to this area. But I'm pretty sure this is higher above than my current plane that I'm on. But what is that? And what is that? What is any of this shit? Whoops. I gotta actually teleport if I'm gonna. There we go. Oh, there's a big boy in the distance, too. That little village is not a village, that is a war camp. I guess they were probably assaulting this place. Let me veer off this way. Oh, hello, horse guy. Goes all my stamina. Hey, get fucked. Woo. Ooh, that, that dragged me back. Mesmer Soldier Gauntlet's probably got a few of those at this point. Is that a buffalo? Oh no, those are bears. Those those are bears. More bear. Huh. That might be the most bears I've seen in one area. I mean that aren't like rune bears. <laughs> those are <laughs> I've seen a lot of those. Hello, bear. Oh, shit, a brick. Is that just a giant bear or is that a rune bear? Oh, you're a you're a badass version of a rune bear, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Oh, 
Bro. He's got horns on him. He's like an omen version of a rune bear. Which just makes me wonder, what are rune bears now? Stake of Marka. Oh, probably because this guy's a boss boss. Okay. Guess we'll be tackling him for a bit. Ooh. You got special moves. Ooh. Okay. And we're in phase two, where everything is wind. I'm out of endurers. Yep. Probably better off not buffing up at the moment. It takes a lot of my FP away. That AoE is just not what I keep expecting. And there's phase two. Yay. Oh, right. Yeah, right. God damn, he has so much magic bullshit. I'm gonna keep moving on. Where the fuck are my soul? Oh, they're way behind him. Oh, right. He has the Ruin Bear Sniper Shout. Lovely. Looks like that is the building down there. And judging by the color on the map, I bet you anything that's Scarlet Rot. Just out of a an assumption I'm making here. Oh, wow, that's way down there. Okay. So I am not dropping from here to down to there. Oh, fuck off, bear. I see a uh, potential cave entrance right there. So something probably can lead out to here. And also there's the uh, I was correct about that going underneath here. I don't don't see how that currently helps us right now though. That doesn't quite look right where what I was. <clears throat> for the, uh... Bruh. I guess I could try taking that big-ass thing down again. Let me make it through the town real quick, though. for a sight of grace on the other end. Oh, shit, we got a big boy, Bo.
Euh... What? Somewhere, a great rune has broken. And so too has a powerful charm. Okay. The fuck does that mean? So I can barely see it, but there's a door on that. The gate's up, but the door is, there's a door you gotta open. Which I have no idea if I can get into the door. Probably can. Oh, there's big one of those big guys. So why would walking over here cause a ruin to go all shitty? And did that progress something I didn't want it to? Furnace Keeper's Note. A left... Mm, a note left, presumably, by a Furnace Keeper. Containing... Admon admonitions regarding the furnace proper use. Keep fire pots well clear when the golem's furnace is ablaze. And never let me catch you with pots that produce flaming whirlwinds. For goodness sake. <laughs> Sounds like my grandma. Keep your fire pots away from the fireplace now. Nah. For goodness sake. Um, so there's a little column A and a little column B. Column A is yes. Uh, there, there are some reasons for using certain weapons on horseback over others. And column B is me being my personal pedantic self about how things are. So <clears throat> when I was trying to decide weapons, it was like I, I had like... The, the larger weapons, generally... Uh, the larger weapons themselves... generally just have better reach. Right? If I switch over to this... it just doesn't have the same level of, of reach that this does. That's, that's the main thing. This has more reach. Um... <clears throat> but, if I was using just a two-handed weapon, I probably wouldn't have a second weapon just for horseback, because I'd already have a big two-handed weapon. Um, but I have a two- I, I like having a, a secondary large weapon when I'm carrying- when I'm dual wielding or using smaller weapons just for horseback purposes. And also back up when whatever I'm using just doesn't work very well. Like those giant chunky knights, the axe works better than these do. Just because the guy blocks all of this shit, and he can't block that as effectively. And my my druid guy, uh, my druid guy, he started with a spear, and he's still using that exact same spear. Now I'm gonna change that eventually, uh, whenever he gets in the DLC, because there is a throwing spear. I don't know where the fuck that is. <clears throat> But when I figure it out on this guy, that'll be one of the first things I try to go towards for him. Because upgrading, like, switching him over to using a spear a, that I can throw with a strong attack is sounds fucking awesome. Now, the downside to that is it also is that way on horseback, from my understanding. Which is a down, it was like, is a, is a, is like a good and a bad thing. So, oh, and then there's also some other shit. Check this out. This is not... I don't have this thing upgraded, but here's here's a colossal weapon. Look what colossal weapons do to enemies. Wee! See, that's what you call the burger flip. Well, that one broke his his stance, but you get the idea. They get thrown in the air, and that shit's fucking hilarious. So if I was if I was primarily using this weapon, that's all I'd use on. I, that's just all I'd use. Period. I'd have no other weapons on me but this.
Ooh, a ground stop. I just keep missing all of them, dude. There we go. We're in a better place now. Ooh, Black Steel Twin Blade. Fancy. It's actually a pretty cool looking Twin Blade. Oh, wow. We also got the Mesmer Helmet. And the Mesmer. Or the old Black Knight Gauntlets. Ooh. Black Steel Twin Blade. And it looks like it could take Ashes of War. And it's at base considered holy. Well, that's fancy. Weapon of the Black Knights, Servant of Mesmer the Impaler. Twin blade of black steel with decorative embellishments in gold. Blessed with an Erd Tree incantation, further holy imbuement will amplify the effect and greatly increase the armament's power. Further holy imbuement. Are they saying, hey, put something in this and turn it into a holy weapon, it'll be even more holy than the holy? Which is... Definitely something some of these things do. Skill favored by dexterous warriors. Oh. Ah, here we go. I have the stats for it. Nice. But okay. Is that. Is there a follow up to that? Ah. Fancy. That's pretty good, man. If I if I like these like these <laughs> these weapons have good move sets. I just uh, not a big fan of them. All right, I'm gonna go over here and see if she has anything new to say with that great ruin breaking. Oh, hello. Hello. Did you feel it? Mikula the Kind's enchantment appears to have broken. There was an enchantment while here. My devotion to kindly Mikula remains unchanged. By my troth, I am not so sure about the others. No, wait. Perhaps this is a blessing in disguise. I can wield my sword to cull the undeserving. Those unfit to bask in tender Mikula's presence. I should have thought of this earlier. Right. right. It's time to begin ferreting out. Those of us who don't deserve to be at kindly Mikula's side. I'll have to suggest people. I've got no suggestions at the moment. So how are you doing there now that the thing is gone? What remains there to be said? Do you presume us allies even now? Though Mikola's spell is newly broken, I must profess. The spell mattered little. Uphold his covenant, Mikola shall. And in godhood redeem our rueful clan. Then Marika and vilest Erdtree both will at last be from divinity wrenched. And surely I contented I will be. But first, clear resounds the call of vengeance. The Impaler, Mesmer, must pay his due in vengeance for the flames. My blade I wield. How could I allow myself to forget? Revenge alone assures me peace of mind. Oh, he's got a falx. Think not to hinder me upon my... Lest you... Lest me... Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so we had people here and here before. Curious. This guy used to serve Radon. Or this lady used to serve Radon. Oh, there you are. Hello. Good. 
If you happen to see Lady Leda, tell her that I'm striking out on my own. Don't worry. I've no mind to cross any of you. The guidance of kind Mikola remains etched into my very flesh. It's only... There's something that I must know. What'd you tell look for? Kindly Mikola spoke of the vow he once made with General Radan. And it is here the vow shall be honored. I am a red mane. I must know the nature of the vow. I'll be out oh. on my own for some time. There's something I must know. What if you become an enemy? No need for concern. I will be true to my word. Though I do feel a hint of regret, Lady Leda and Honorable Ansbach are of a special breed. How glorious it would have been had we met in battle as sworn enemies. Okadokes. Well, I trust you, sort of. A little bit. Ah, oh, and the big guy's there too. Kindly Mikola has discarded his great rune. The fog that vexed my aging faculties has been lifted. And follies better left forgotten haunt me once again. <sighs> once, in an attempt to free Lord Moog from his enchantment, I challenged tender Mikola. Only to have my own heart rather artfully stolen. I knew not how weak I was. I believed that with sufficient mastery, even an Empyrean would be within reach of my blade. I could not have been more mistaken. Mikola the Kind is a monster, pure and radiant. He wields love to shrive clean the hearts of men. There is nothing more terrifying. Right. Righteous tarnished. Mikola the Kind makes my blood run cold. I am... Loath to admit it, but even at this very instant, I wish to run very far away indeed. Righteous Tani, I am. Um... I don't care. I don't feel it. It's broken. Kind Mikola's light is gone. Mm -hmm. I stand tall. Together, we work. Together, for Mikola the Kind. Octomore. I don't know what to do. Our mother abandoned her brood. She did not love us. We are her children. What should we do? Must we be sad forever? <laughs> Put it behind you. Remain sad forever. <laughs> Give in to the, give in to the sadness. Uh, put it behind you. Maybe that's kindly Mikola's love. Love for all the unloved. Love to banish the pain. Oh, I know. Give this to Diolier. He asked me to find it. I finally found it. Black syrup. Uh, good ducks. Yeah, the unloved it can banish our pain. For Purchase. You still don't have the stuff. Note imparting knowledge in brief. Sealed the spirit. Yeah, I think I've run into sealed spirit springs and I have freed them by hitting them with the weapons. Goodbye. Who am I supposed to give this to again? Ah, Foliar. An ebony black syrup held in an unglazed jar. Moore asked that this be delivered to Thielier, an unknown liquid apparently gathered and aged by the forager's brood. And Tholier eels. Oh, Tholier's not there. Tholier's not. Well, well, damn it, Tholier, where the hell is you? Oh, Thol oh no, no, Tholier's the uh, poison bro. I remember now. Tholier! Sup? Probably all depressed now, aren't you? Oh, um, are you not affected? Even with the spell broken, I'm feeling rather lost. Haunted by memories of St. Trina. Her visage, her sen, the lure of velvety sleep. 
would kindly Mikola chasten me for falling for St. Trina, while knowing that she was the discarded half. The problem is, I, I simply cannot help it. I would sacrifice everything just to gaze upon her one last time. Uh, give black syrup. Oh? What's this? I have to say, Sir Moore has an awfully sharp eye, doesn't he? It's wonderful. This epony, as lustrous as the night sky unending. I don't think I could ever thank him enough, but I'll have to think of something. Ask about the black syrup. Oh, forgive me. You two deserve your share of the reward. I'll mix up something special. If you find yourself weary of the weight of this life, then just give me the word. Sleep is a balm. An eternal sleep is an elixir. Uh, um, okay. I want to do that just because I'm curious. I just, I, that is like, this, uh, our, our, uh. from software games, man. Like, you want to know what the fuck happens. <clears throat> but I don't know what that's going to do, so I also don't want to do it. Uh, so I'm going to, I'm going to wait because I don't know what that means it does sound like it's saying hey you want to kill yourself <laughs> and no I don't 